Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Please, this message is directed to Christian Association of Nigeria, the CAN, and every other Christian association, be it Catholic, Anglican, Orthodox, I don't know if they are in one umbrella, but if they are not in one umbrella, this message is directed to every one of you. It doesn't matter if you're a Catholic, Anglican, or Pentecostal, but this message is for you. Please, as you get the message, share it, send it so that it will reach every one of them for them to know what they have put themselves. This message is about the show of shame that a Nigerian, not Nigerian, that Tunubu brought to the to the Christianity. Before I will continue saying anything, let's watch the video first. Put it. Can't you, do you, you don't have anything to say to Nigerians while you are here as religious, as Christians? Nothing. Sir, you, you two don't have anything to say, sir. From the from the media, uh, you which can't media? talk to media. Which media? From the Whistler newspaper. That's wrong. Word. That's uh, can you can you can you tell Nigerians why you are here as Christian leaders? Christian leaders. Yes. We have given it before. Huh? We have said it before. That what happened, sir? We believe in peace and unity of Nigeria. Okay. And you believe in uh, Muslim Muslim tickets, sir? Do you believe in that? I'm a journalist. I'm asking you a question. I deserve an answer. I'm also a journalist, journalist and I'm a Nigerian. So okay, so. By being here, you endorse the Muslim Muslim ticket, sir. Sir, so I'm asking you a question. So that can, can, Muslim Muslim, can, you no, press my phone. Come, let me ask you. Muslim Muslim ticket is not a crime. Okay. That's we, good. We, Which church are you we from, We projected sir? Reverend Pam Yakub. Okay. We projected Reverend Pam Yakub. Okay, but from the, the Northern Christian, sir. Yes. Okay. We, it's our own choice. Okay. But the party decide what they want. Okay. So let's press and every media report something that can unite Nigeria. Okay. Not bring disunity. Okay. Please, all right. We need all the press, journalists, blogger, free blogger, okay. To for God's sake, okay. Report Trubu. Yes. 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 All right, thank you very much. But what's your name, sir? And the my church, name. yes, it will, it will help. What's your name and church, sir? So, my name is Prince. Prince. I'm the president Muslim Christian Law Foundation, okay. In Flatu State or sir? In Abuja. Abuja. Thank you, sir. See, let's let me tell you. Okay, sir. This country, yes, sir. We don't need to bring war. All right. If war breaks, it will consume everybody. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God can bring a beggar. All right. God can bring a pastor. All right. God can use anybody to fix Nigeria. Okay. God can bring any tribe. Okay. God can bring any religion okay. to fix Nigeria. Okay. It's not about religion. It's right. not about now, Muslim. Let me tell you what you just watch now. This is a show of, of a, uh, this is a show of shame. And it's a big slap on every Christian in that Nigeria. And I want to ask, please, is there any rule and regulation that is governing the Christians Association of Nigeria can? Or is there any rule that is governing Catholic Church, Anglican Church? If there is no rule, please. I want Catholic person to write on comment section so that I will also learn. If there is no rule, if there is rule, tell me. The same thing applicable to, to Anglican people and also for the Pentecostal Association or Christian Association. I still need it from you because I want to know. Because even in the Bible, God himself used his hand, his hand to carve ten commandments that will be guiding the Israel. The Bible you are reading has ten commandments. And the not only Ten Commandments, the law of Moses is also existing to protect and guide everyone not to deviate from that line of Christianity. Now, what you just watch here, the video you just watch is not just a slap on the face of every Christian, but also a show of shame to every Christian. How can you explain this, that a Muslim man went and gathered anyhow people, some are mechanic, some are agoros, some are akuna, and paid them to dress like Reverend Father, 
to dress like bishop, to dress like pastors, to represent the entire Christians in Nigeria. And they play their, their roles. And the Christian Association and every Reverend Fathers, all of you saw this very event. And up to now, you have not taken the appropriate measure to stop such thing, not to repeat itself again. Up to now, all of you have gone silent again. The same way all of you went silent after the killing of uh, uh, Deborah Samuel. And up to today, no justice for Deborah Samuel. In case you don't know the result of what you see today, the result in the future is what I will tell you here. This is a sign that the Christian Association of Nigeria or every Christian leader have lost their voice and they have lost their respect. And this is the end of road for Christianity in that contraption because the cause of all these things is corruption. Corruption. There is no integrity again. There is no more men of, men of God that has integrity. I thought by now, if you people has a rules or law, at least there must be a sanction method or outlined that if any person violates such rule, that this sanction is what awaits the person. Or if those people are not bishops, reverend fathers and pastor, as they, as they claim, it is the duty of the Christian uh, the, Christ, uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria and every Christian to petition and arrest those people for impersonation, for infiltration, for, for, for forging, I don't know what to call it, and bring them to justice. You have the capacity to do that unless those people are truly representing the Christian Association. Then, you will continue keeping silent. Because as for me, what I see there is a show of shame and a disrespect for every Christian. Imagine how can a Muslim person rent all manner of mechanics and mad people to represent you. And up to today, all of you have not come up with a, a, a single action. You have not taken any action to stop that. Do you think that the P2B can assemble Muslim people without the consent of imams, without the concept, concept of uh, the, the Muslim leaders, without the consent of every responsible and the leaders of the Islamic Association of Nigeria? And he will use them to unveil his, president, his vice presidential candidate. What do you think that it will happen? Including that vice presidential candidate, the Muslim people will bring him down and that will be the end of road for him. The Muslim people will take a very serious measure and action against the presidential candidate, against the vice presidential candidate and against every single individual that engage or involved in such show of shame, in, in, in embarrassing the, the Muslim hood, the action they will take, what happened to Deborah Samuel, will be a little pin to what they will do to the person. And after that, fear will not let any other group to act in a such way. Don't tell me that Christian is a peacemaking or peacemakers. Because God himself knows that Christian is a peacemaker when he chose, when he ordered Israel to go and fight Amalite. God knows, he knows that in Israel he has some peacemakers, but he chose war over the peace. The reason is to, to warn them, other people who are preparing such act. God knows there is other peace way and he ordered Israel to go and march seven times around the wall of Jericho and bring down Jericho instead of making peace. Christian association or Christian in Nigeria, Christian leaders, you have to take a very 
decisive action against this very act or else believe you me in the next five years christian and a christian will be will be used as a caricature and as a there, there will be no atom of any christian any respect there will be no any atom of respect for any christian in nigeria because this is the highest insult to christians in nigeria christian leaders most especially christian leaders and i was expecting you people to rise up and put a stop to this menace to this mess you people are involving yourself money 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 you see what scam you people your silence have shown the world that christians in nigeria we are built under the root of scam. The foundation of Christianity in Nigeria are scam. Because if not, tell me what give Tinubu the impetus, the audacity, the morale to take such action. Because he knows that no single person will rise up. He knows that all of you have eaten the forbidden fruit. That no more, there is no more men of God that has respect, no integrity in that contraption. That is why all of you will keep on keeping silent. I am ashamed. If your shame are not shaming your people, your shame, they shame me. You dare not try this with Muslim people. You dare not try this with Hindus. You dare not try this with other religions, apart from Christian and our traditional rulers, our men are like. These are the two set of people you can try this with and go scot free. In the future, the result of what you see today, believe you me, the that generation will suffer double times ten of what this, this one we 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 are suffering. Christian Christianity has lost their voice. The Christian leaders have used their hands to bury themselves and they stop the Christian message from getting respect or getting uh, uh, spreading or being valued like before because everybody is a scam. I don't want to say much. Let me drop it here. Share the message. This is the time for your people to act and put a stop. If there is anything you people can do, what you people can only do now, investigate every single individual who involved him or herself in that show of shame if the person don't have any church or don't have anything that he is not representing your people make immediate arrest make immediate arrest and also act fast the rest who may be like the one that from Newe, arrest all of them for making a false statement against christian because your people did not send them unless your people send them i have i have done my part if you are joining me for the first time this is map ezioku bundu one in biafra land i say nothing but the truth remain blessed until i come your way again and don't forget subscribe to biafra unity tv and also mazi achebepo tv follow us on instagram mazi achebepo and twitter mazi achebepo and remain blessed we must continue.